Hi, my name is Sai from Sai Design Studio. Behind you, you've got the new uh, African food street market. The idea really came about where we tried to uh, brainstorm what a Moyo at Vienna is really about. We don't really want to create another African themed restaurant. So we started talking about processing food in an urban environment. Uh, it takes a huge amount of energy to bring food from the farm all the way out from Stellenbosch into, into um, an urban area. So, so therefore we started thinking about whether we can create an urban farm on site. And this is what we've created. We have a unique opportunity to do a restaurant and a market together, which means we can tell the story of food in its full spectrum, starting from growing the food, selling the food, preparing and consuming the food to the, uh, to the waste entire cycle all within one project. So what we decided to do is to take all the green tech stuff, what used to be a back of the house things, into the front of the house, make them become aesthetic pleasing elements. For example, what you see in the arcade up there, um, normally one would use latte or, or timber slats to screen the sunlight. So we decided why don't the solar panels capture sunlight, but at the same time, uh, become a shading device as well. The other thing is to produce food on site why don't we look at an entire ecosystem such as the aquaponics where the fish um, in the pond will supplement the plants and the plant waste in turn also supplements the fish. The entire ecosystem where there's low maintenance for us. So what we've done is we put all these green tech elements into the design as part of the main feature. I think the idea is to create an amazing buzz uh, you know, various food stores selling African food while Moyo restaurants will just deal with more formal settings you sit down and have your meal you'll see as you go into the, the ground floor of the restaurant it's almost an extension of the, um, the market and inside there we talk about the story of food again how it's prepared from raw fish tank and there's a fish monger where the fish gets treated and then it gets to the grill area which is also an open island and you can see as a theater you can see the food being prepared and cooked. Um, the whole idea behind this is almost like uh, sushi where you can sit and watch sushi be made. Here you can watch African food being prepared and made. Freshly plucked from the aquaponic gardens and the fish pond. We thought, why don't we use this opportunity to do a green wall? Same as the outside, we can pluck fresh um, salad off the green wall. Again, this is also an aquaponic system where you have fish pond underneath, uh, green leaves on top, and the whole uh, water cycle of uh, nutrients. Uh, what's amazing for me is that uh, Moyo, the client, has used this opportunity too to look at their menu system and where they source their food. Trying to find as many organic farmers and suppliers to replenish their, their um, restaurant supplies. The, the other idea that we're trying to implement is to have school children coming on site. All the solar panels has a little um, digital pad that can tell how energy is captured, how much is being used by the restaurant and the kids can also see there'll be somebody explaining the whole aquaponic system I can see the fish pond and how food is, is right there on site so this whole thing is about education especially for the for the younger um, generation so part of the process with uh, Moyo's story of food is apart from consuming the food is about how we can then treat the waste properly, turn them into fertilizers, the coffee waste gets uh, made into uh, to grow mushrooms, um, there's many other little initiatives that we're looking into. So Moyo uh, VNA has been labeled as the most sustainable restaurant in Africa and we're hoping to, to repeat the success. I think design and sustainability is one of the same thing. It's, it's about um, thinking in an alternative way. The salad is right next to you for the picking. So you know where your food is coming from. Um, and also this, this whole issue of food shortage in Africa. We know that we're treating food responsibly 
on site and people can see it.